is a kabiki day. Is it a day? Look. Now that's a that's a kabiki factor right there. This girl right here, a lot of you guys are not interested in. I don't know why though. Cause this thing is killing. Maybe because I touched it. That's why. This is a 1990. This is a 1990 Kabiki factor. This is a 1990 Fender Jazz Kabiki. What's the difference between the two? Well, the pickup configuration is different. This one has DiMaggio's, the 1970s, 70 or 80 DiMaggio's, which has, well, they're not DiMaggio, they really Seymour Duncan's. So they have these little switches on them. See those little switches right there? That's like, uh, bass, treble, and mid switches, or bass, mids, and treble switches. You can't find these pickups no more, so they kind of, uh, whoop, important. Of course, it has the Kabiki um, preamp in it. It has um, the volume, and then the, the blend between the pickups, and then you have treble, then you have bass, and then you have this configuration. This is a four-nodder. <laughs> I said four-nodder. This is a four-nodder. Now, four knotter is like if you get it all the way this way, it's off now. If you turn it to the next, the first setting, that is the mid boost. All right. You take it to the next one, it's to the active. You take it to the last one, it's passive all the way. In the passive mode, the bass is the only thing that works on it. In the first setting, you can get a lot of variations out of this. Now, what's so important about this bass? Well, first of all, it's a Fender Jazz. And it has a maple on maple neck. Hard to come by. Hard to come by. And it has a Fender tuners on the back too. Alright? This bass is totally incredible. Why do you say this bass is so incredible? Because I touched it. <laughs> if you're like, oh, what does that mean? I'm about to show you. With these pickups, not only you get the variation of the, of the Kabiki, but you get the variations of the pickups too, the Seymour Duncans. Let's check this out. This is going to be interesting, y'all. Alright, so I'm coming through my SWR LA12. Alright? And I got everything on D10. Let's turn it on. Alright, so first setting. Like I told you. First setting is off. Okay? Then you, got, you come to the mid boost. Alright, so you can turn the bass on. That's your mid boost. Let's turn the bass off and turn the treble off. Now all you have is a mid boost. Okay, let's go to both pickups. Let's do that. Okay, these strings are not that new. They're not that dead, but they're not that new. All right, so now the treble is off, the bass is off. This is what the bass sounds like. Real good fender sound. Good miss, good miss. If you go to the next setting, that's when your active comes in and your mid comes down and blends with your bass in trouble. Now, let's clock the, the bass at D10. There. Now let's clock the, let's clock the trouble at D10. To the next setting on the rear on the rear knob that's that's all passive so not only thing works on that is uh the bass the bass watch yeah treble bass now a lot of people get into oh why do you change the pickup man let, let me tell you something it came to me like this um with another set of pickups in it with the american uh, standard pickups and they were American standard, and they sounded good. I wanted to try something different. Now, I'm about to blow you out the water. Check this out. Now, we have both pickups on, and we have the bass all the way, treble all the way. Now we're going to go to the active. <laughs> now, check this out. As I, as I go through my pickups, 
Watch this. Now let's go through the rear so you can really hear how it sounds. Check this out. difference happens does something different happen <laughs> now come think about this suppose and you will you take the setting you want on your rib pickup okay that sounds flat to me I like this I like that sound watch this I leave my rear pickup like it is, I go to my front pickup. Check this out. Now, I kind of like where the front sounds, but I'm going to go do some settings. Alright, so now I got the front sounding like this. I got the rear sounding like this. What are they going to sound like together? Here we go. Now, I ain't got no bass on, y'all. I have no bass on. I just got trouble on. I'm going to put bass at D10. Now, check this out. I ain't finished yet. Suppose I said, okay, next gig, I want to do something different. So, I'll go back to my front pickup. Now, this is why I like the Seymour Duncans with the switchables. I go back to the front pickup and I say, I don't like this sound no more. I like this sound. Then I go back to the rear pickup. I mean, I go to the front pickup and I say, I don't like this sound. So I'm going to change it. Now, that's my front pickup. Here's my rear pickup. I like that sound. Wait a minute. Maybe I can get it a little darker. Now, I'm going back to the standard sound of a jazz pickup. But I'm going to go back to the front and I'm going to change that whole concept. Ah, now I'm going to put them both together. I should have a whole complete different setup. Check it out. Let's go rear. Front. amazing to me just from the pickups now the preamp has its own individual tone but now the pickup just added their own impression of their tone so now you have like when you only had maybe 
three. Now you have like 12 different tones that you can pull out of this bass. Maybe more than that, maybe 15. I don't know. This is an amazing bass. Why? Because of those pickups? No, because the bass is amazing anyway. This is a jazz, baby. And the greatest thing about this jazz bass is that it has the old tilt. See that little hole right there? A lot of you guys don't even know about that. It has a tilt. You ain't got to go inside to tilt the neck or shimmy the neck. You can just loosen up your bolts here, take an uh, Allen wrench, go in there, hit it one time, pull it, kick it back up, she's done. The tuning keys are what I'm crazy about. I love these tuning keys. I just love this bass. I love the style. This is a Kabiki style bass. You know, it just has a style. And I know a lot of y'all said, hey, they didn't come with the pick, uh, pick guard. No, they did not. But when I got the bass, the gentleman had a pick guard on it. So I took the pick guard off. Well, it ain't up there now, so anyway. But the bass itself is amazing. Uh, guys, I'm telling you, we're sleeping on this bass. It plays amazing, it sounds amazing. It only needs a little help. They come with lace sensor. Now, a lot of people like lace sensors. I'm not that crazy about them. That's just my opinion. I'm just one guy. And my opinion means a lot to me. <laughs> you know what I said to me? I didn't like lace sensors. Somehow they felt choked to me. But when I put these in there, everything jumped up and bit me upside the head. That's why I got a, a slight neck crook right now. <laughs> but this thing is killing y'all. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, stop sleeping. That is called a Jazz Plus. A Jazz Plus. But now it's called a Jazz Plus Plus. A Plus. A Jazz Plus Plus. And plus, Shadakaka. Johnny Lee Long, peace out, unity.